Block right sideline to the left side. Carter drives, beat his man to the post, dunks it down with two hands. Oh, an authoritative crunch for Carter. On February the 4th of 2015, Ohio men's basketball beat the Akron Zips at the Convo 83-82. to The Bobcats then lost four in a row to Akron. February the 4th, 2017, Ohio wins, Ohio wins, Ohio wins. Painted green and white, stand up and cheer. Ohio gets it done over the Zips, 85-70 to on a splendid Saturday afternoon on the banks of the Hocking. I'm yeah. Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. We're supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. And wow, that was something. Yeah, great way to get the kangaroo off your back. And you close strong and you hit a bunch of free throws. And Jerron Simmons had one of the great guard games in the recent history of this building. 38 points and a lot of other good news in that score sheet. They zap the zips. They rough up the ruse. And they're able to get it done. You talk about Jerron. We talk about individual efforts. The 38 points, the 10 boards, the not leaving the floor setting his mind and his jaw to take over and that's one of the better individual efforts that we've seen in this building in a long time yeah i mean he knew what he had to do he got to the line a ton ran a ton of that screen and rolls the second half nothing saw phillips said he knew this thing was over we're turning the game over to him we're gonna see what happens ohio was down by five and akron seemed to be pulling away a little bit and we talk about runs against ohio the cats were able to put a run on the boys from the Rubber City. Yeah, it took a pop early second half. Saw Phillips called a timeout after I think a 12-3 or a 12-2 look, and then Ohio put the brakes back on. Got some defensive stops with some stops back to back to back, and never let Akron really get big numbers up from three. They took a ton of shots. They missed a ton of threes. Yeah, Isaiah Johnson being off the floor for a long stretch there with foul trouble, that was a big part of it. And very odd foul trouble, an odd tech as the teams crossed paths and went to the locker room at halftime, got into three, got four early second half was off the floor and Keith Amber and I can't imagine was happy with fouls two three or four on the big guy much maligned from the line but Ohio was able to clamp this down from the charity strike yeah it really did hits essentially 90 percent second half goes to the line seemingly wow 30 sometimes it was a lot big picture very high a lot of success there from one and, and Akron couldn't hit it from three how about a way to start off the second half of mid-american conference play Beat the best team in the league? Check. Who's a rival? Check. In front of a 10,000 person crowd at the Convo? Check. It's Sibs weekend, so future Bobcats are going to enjoy that too. Uh, and you have eight games left, and you get the win over Akron. Who knows what could happen the rest of the way? Time. You've got you've seen time. You've seen this, this standings chart. Essentially, two through nine, there's not a lot of gap. You can fall real fast. You can rise real fast. And Ohio, you think, can end up as high as two pretty easily. I'll start my plea now. Please, please, please. A couple things. One, come out to the Convo on Tuesday night to see Ohio and Central Michigan. Marcus Keene, the nation's leading scorer, they got it done over Western Michigan the other night. So come out for that and the rest of the home games. But please, please, please think about getting your tickets for Cleveland and the Mid-American Conference Tournament. There is no way possible that there can't be four, five, or 6,000 Bobcat fans there at the queue. Um, yeah, think about yeah, it right now. Do it. Draw it. You've got our hotel room reserved, right? I did this weekend. Nice job. Yeah. Nice job. I, I, tried to, I tried to love them up and get that upgrade like we had. I don't know. Uh, see which suite is way off the street, the whole block away. It's I fine. It's it. fine. It's in the arcade. It's fine. 85-70, the final score. This was a lot of fun. Talk to you on Tuesday night. Good day. Marcus Keene and the guys come, and let's try to keep it under 90 points. Hey, I like this song. This is, uh, this is Paramore playing now. Everyone loves Paramore. <laughs> More Bobcat wins, maybe, too. Ohio wins by 15. For Jason, Derek, and the entire Bobcat TV crew, and Christian Hoppins is here as well. I'm Good glad. to see him, former from OhioBobcats.com. For Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. We're supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Ain't it fun? This is Bobcat TV. Simmons out high. At the point, drives on Johnson. Beat him into the post. Reverse, oh yes! Oh,